Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a Bollywood Barbie with attitude and the reason I say attitude is because you've got your pinks, you've got your purples and then you've got a real nice blue underneath. I really hope you enjoy. We're going to start by priming the eye. Let's get this on. I'm going to be as quick as I can so you can get away and get on to the next videos or whatever you've got to do. So just this is give you some inspiration hopefully to play with colour, have fun. I certainly have. And I hope everyone's keeping okay. Let's get this primer on right up into the eyebrow bone. And then a little underneath as well. Right, so we're going to start with where eyeshadow. I'm using white again from my one kit it's a nice bright white and it's what I wanted for a base colour before we put the pinks and the purples on and I've got more Ben Nye eyeshadows which I'm looking forward to using and showing you what to do give you maybe a bit of inspiration for a look now we we'll stick that on we're going to go right up to the eyebrow bone with this one so I'm starting up here and I'm going to bring the two together to match. And I've moved my mirror because I think the angle's bad for you to see. And I'm in the rubber dub dub bathroom. Because it's nice and light. It won't be forever. It's just for now and again. I think it does does the videos. Maybe it's a bit of a change up for you. Let us know actually what you think. Because it's easy to go back in the bedroom, but a lot of people have commented on the lighting. They think the lighting's better in here. So, let us know what you're thinking on that one. Now, for the fun piece, apart, I've just broken a nail opening the tub, which isn't good. This one's Azalea. 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 Well, I don't know. Someone will put us right. Okay. I'm going to take a blendy brush, I've already used that one for that eye. Dip, dip, dip. And off we go. So just gently bring it back and forwards. Into the corner of the eye, right in. Because we're going to blend out with white anyway again in a minute. So get right up into the brow bone. Sorry, blend toward the brow bone. Right up and out. See where we're going with that one. Yep, that's it. Now the angle is funny in this mirror because I'm trying to get it angled right so that when I put my me, me liner on, you can see what I'm doing instead of being down here doing what I'm doing and you're only seeing me hair clip. So let's go. Sticking that all the way. Again, I'm just gently touching the skin and you get a better blend and technique if you do that. Have a try. Let us know how you get on with that. So when you're doing your blending, just gently and let us know how you get on. Because I used to just blend like a crazy person and I never found that I could blend very well. But since taking my time and getting to know all my nooks and crannies around my eye area and my, my cheeks and stuff, I feel like my blending techniques have come on a bit better. And like I said on my channel, you have to have hands-on experience to really get a grasp of it. And it's, it really does help. The more you get hands-on experience, the better you get at it. Now, this one is cherry red. It's a bit more red than the other one I've just used. And this is to add a bit of colour variation. So again, I'm going to bring that just three quarters of the way in. Like that. And you'll see it's coming out at an angle. You can actually not put it that far up if you don't want to. It's anything you want. Remember, it's all about having fun and playing. And if you don't like it, you don't have to leave the house. But it's all good to experiment and learn different things and put different colours together. That's why I'm playing about with these. Because I'm just dying to get back into colour. Ready? Now we're going to be using the purple. And this one is Amethyst. Let's get a bit more on there. They're pigmented, but they're not as pigmented as I thought. I'm sure this is a professional theatre makeup. And it's not as pigmented as I thought, but it's still good and the, the blend alright. So I'm just sticking a little bit of that purple on, on the outer corner. You can bring it down a little bit onto the eye, but not much. 
So I'm just bringing it like that up and just check that I'm in the right area. Now that looks a bit funny because I have a cut of plucking. I'm not impressed about it. Now we've got to put a bit more white on, so don't worry. Just put a bit more purple on there, darken it up a bit. Blend it out a little, but not a lot. And then I'm going to go back over with me white to just blend in any harsh lines I've got. So dip your white and then we're going to go up the inside of your nose and that's going to make that cherry pink 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 and then just blend it along the top like that and then I'm going to blend that like that just keep patting it on, patting it on, patting it on now back over because I think I've just took a little bit of this purple off okie dokie now for the black which I should have done before by the way where's it gone I had it right in front of us a minute ago there it is. it's a Sephora creamy black liner and I really should have done this beforehand but get your little finger well your big and whatever you can get and then just run the pencil. Ah, oh, tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh. Right, get back up there, you. Get back in. And just run it along the roof. It's your waterline, but it's your upper one, and it really tickles. It takes a while to get used to it. Ah, go right into the corner. This is called tight lining and it's really tight. Go right in. Come on, get in there. And the reason I'm doing it on to this one today is because I'm not putting black on the top, I'm putting purple, like a pink glitter. And you want your eyes to stand out and this frames it. Do the bottom as well. Now, right, we can see that. So get that on. Go right into the corner. Now find the lid for that. Where have I put it? Mm -mm -mm. And as if clicking my fingers is going to help me find the stuff in front of us. But this is B, and it's by the Mac D Squids collection. And it's like a paint stick grease paint thing. And it's like a royal blue. blue. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to put that underneath. So start kind of thick on the outer corner this changes your whole eye shape and you'll have a better eye shape my eyes are quite almond and at the corner I notice when I put it thick it makes my eyes look lovely and bigger so this is why I do that you can really change the shape of your eyes by messing on with how you put your liner on and I'm just trying to get it underneath without it sticking to my lashes too much because it really is like a grease paint it wraps your lashes up and gives them a coating and it's not brilliant but the colour payoff's good that one's come off a bit on that side it's not good is it? a bit more on there like that all gone now I want to put a little bit of more white just off what my brush had on just on the inner corner and into the blue just to highlight quick quick I bet you the time's flying by now for the liner, this is glitter again, it's Collection 2000 Glam Crystals Dancing Queen number 8. Get a load on and then run it over the top of your lashes. Now what I did on the other side was, I put it all on, I drew my line, I let it dry and then I put another coating on. Because with all gel liquid crystal eyeliners or li glitter liners, you'll agree with yourself, there's not many out there that really deliver complete glitter. They're quite gel fied, which is okay, I suppose, but I really wanted a maximum pa power, so I put a double coating on. This stuff is really cheap, especially in the UK, you can get it in boots or super drug. And I quite like it. Now for the mascara, quick, I'm going to put another coat of that on after. 
I'll get that done, don't worry. Get the eye the mascara on. Tip your head back and give your eyes a good wiggle. I used to keep the one still and move my head. And the wiggle actually just coats each one individually. It works quite nice. You don't need any on the bottom because you've already got the grease paint on. For the blush today I'm using NYC. And this is a colour wheel. It's a mosaic. And I think I got this in New York. But I'm not sure. And it's a pink one. And it's really pretty. It's called Pink Cheek Glow. And I'm just going to gently fluff it under my cheekbones. And for the lips, something plain. This one is by Tarte. Any pink kind of, it, it's actually pink with like a red and gold glitter. It's pretty. And I think they're only available online or in the US, but. You don't need an awful lot, because it is glittery. Look at the size of that nose, it's huge, isn't it? Somebody called us Gonzo once in the video. It was obviously a, a trolley lurker, but they were speaking the truth on that occasion. I'll give them that. Right. Oh, quick, quick. The brow, the brow, the brow. <clears throat> it would help, wouldn't it? Let's get the brow done just to finish it off. I'm just quickly shoving this through the hair. And the reason I do that is because instead of it getting on the skin, and I've seen a lot of people when I've been out, they've had like brown along the skin. And it doesn't look good. So if you just tease it through the hair, you don't get it stuck to your skin. With any hair colour, whether it be black hair, brown hair, blonde, red, you don't want it stuck to the skin, you want it stuck to the hair to kind of cover it. Okie dokie, I'm all done. <clears throat> and I've got a major frog in my throat. I really hope you enjoyed my Bollywood Barbie with Attitude makeup inspired tutorial. Up next will be Icy Blue Peacock and Ink. Hope you enjoy. Zoom, zoom.